Okay, doing a trituration. Uh, I have a reference solution with uh, one milligram per uh, per milliliter of potassium hydroxide. I've got a uh, indicator made with uh, it's just curry. So let's see. So I'm going to add one uh, one more milliliter. And you see, it looks blood red. Uh, that's the pH change. But if I mix it around, then the color change actually vanishes, and that's just. Uh, incomplete mixing, right? It's uh, It's got a high pH right there where it dropped in. So I actually don't know what this titration is going to come out to, so i got to pay attention to what, uh, what I'm actually doing. So this is actually going to be a total of 7 milliliters of fluid going in. Again, you think, well, pretty close, but uh, we're still, still yellow. So I'm going to add 8 milliliters, which is actually what my blank titration came out to. So... That's eight eight milliliters total. You can definitely see it's thinking about it, but uh, not not there yet. So I need uh, so evidently there's some free fatty acids in this particular batch of oil, which makes sense because it's this horrible dark fry oil. Uh, let's see. So I've got uh, one more milliliter. This would be a total of nine, and that is pretty close, but. Uh, not quite there, so I'm going to go nine and a half. Let's see where we're at. That's again fairly close. So I'm going to go all the way to ten. And uh, that's the color change right there. So I'm going to call it two grams per liter of uh, free fatty acids. I have to neutralize so my fry oil. Dark and chunky, that was a 10 milliliter titration, so that's plus 2 grams per liter of potassium hydroxide.